Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here back with another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Iron Monger Blue Variant. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this, uh, this is a variant I believe, or I'm completely wrong or whatever because I know there's a Marvel Legends Iron Monger that has um, a red arc reactor which looks really cool, but... Yeah, I'm going to be showing this baby off because I just got him a couple weeks ago at Baltimore Comic Con. As you saw in my haul, if you didn't see it, go watch that after this video because, I don't know, why not, you know? So, yeah, there's no packaging with this guy because I got him loose. So, yeah, let's just start the review. Okay, so if we take a look... At the head sculpt, um, this is very, very accurate to the movie. I just love the paint apps on this guy. Way more than the actual paint apps on the Iron Man figures in the MCU, in my opinion. I just like how it's all metallic and everything. Um, the helmet looks really good. I love the mouthpiece, the eyes. I like the white um, kind of highlights in there. Same with the blue. Uh, nice metal texture all around the armor. Same with the chest plate. I really like how bulky he is. Definitely um, resembles the movie. I like his uh, little shoulder pads he has there. They look nice. Um, yeah, all around. I just love this guy's bulkiness. Same with the legs um, and the arms, as you can see right here. Um, I like the crap. I like the machine gun here or a turret or whatever or machine gun or was that a flamethrower i don't know and then you have the missile launcher right here which is pretty cool i really like that i really like all the weapons on this suit same with the hands i like the bulkiness of the whole hand thing um i kind of wish it was a blue arc reactor here but or no blue repulsor here but i still think it's pretty cool nonetheless um, I also like the legs, they're very big and clunky, sometimes he kind of falls a little, but other than that, he's pretty good in, like, the standing up department. Um, I like the bulkiness on the feet, I love the texture everywhere. This figure has great texture, as you can see, there's all this detail on the back, which I really, really, really appreciate. Definitely, uh, makes the figure, that's why I like him so much, so, yes. <clears throat> Really, really good texture all around. The arc reactor, everything looks beautiful on this figure. I just love how he looks so freaking much. Okay, so if we take a look at the articulation, it's pretty decent, actually. Um, His head moves um, right and left, you know, moves all around the head. Um, there's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really go up that much. In fact, it doesn't really go up at all. If you want to do that, just use the chest plate. Or, I mean, just use the legs and make them go up, kind of, the knee joints. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, he has, he doesn't have any, um, uh, ab crunch. He doesn't have an ab crunch, but he does go this way. He does have, he does have a nice hip swivel, kind of. I like that. Um, I like the arms, bicep swivel. Uh, no double jointed elbows, but I think that's actually fine because, it's, you know, this is kind of... Tiny, like this part right here, it's kind of like narrow and slim, so I don't really think he needs it, in my opinion, but, um, it's fine. Uh, nice wrist articulation, um, really looks amazing, same with this other arm. Um, the legs are also nice, uh, you could also use this as a figure. I don't know, I guess if you, like, want to punch somebody, you could be like, so I think that's a nice addition that's to the figure. Um, the legs, they're okay. I kind of wish they would... They don't really move up at all. I mean, like, the, the knee joints move, but, like... I don't know. Nothing else really moves except this leg. This leg's pretty cool. But it doesn't move, like, forward like I would want it to. Same with this leg. Especially this leg. This leg has it the worst. So I'm not the biggest fan of the leg articulation. It's kind of loose. Um... So, yeah, uh, same effects with the arms. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this, but with the arms, it's kind of, like, small. Like, I tried to, when I was posing this guy, I tried to put Iron Man's head. Um, like, I wanted him to hold the head, which the head fits in the arm perfectly, but when I, like, raise it up, it just, like, kind of just slants down and falls. So, that is kind of annoying. Uh, sorry about that. The comics right there keep on, um, moving around. 
But, but yeah, other than that, his leg articulation is great. The knee joints are really nice. Same with the feet. I really like how they kind of open up, you know. Um, no ankle pivot, so I'm going to go kill myself now. But yeah, this is a really, really cool figure. Oh, wait. Does this have double? Oh, my God. Okay, so like right there. That is a cool touch. So I guess this does have double jointed elbows. I mean, not really elbows. No, kind of. Yes, okay. That's a... Nice touch. I really like this figure. Oh my god. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's do some good old-fashioned figure comparisons. So, here is Ironmonger compared to the Mark 46 Iron Man, which is pretty cool. I like how he's like, you know, he's pretty tall compared to him, which is great. Um, I know he's a bit taller in scale, like in the movie, so... Yeah, but I don't really care. He's still... Looks awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to measure this figure. Um, I would compare him to the Infinity War Thanos, but he's in a really cool pose right now, and I don't really want to take him out of it because, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. So, yeah, call me lazy, but I just want to see if he's taller or a little bit shorter because I know um, the, that the Build-A-Figure Thanos is, I believe, 8 or 8.5 inches. I'm going to go with 8, so... Yeah, let's measure this sucker. Okay, so this one's about a little bit over seven. I wouldn't say seven and a half, but yeah, I'm going to round it. Um, seven inches, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, not as big as Thanos, but now I do want to compare them. So if when I redo my Infinity War display, I'm going to do that. So yeah. Okay, so all in all, I really, really, really... Loves this figure. Um, he had minimal problems during the review. It was only his legs, and that's pretty much it. Um, like, I didn't care about the ab crunch. That wasn't a problem. I just mentioned that he didn't have one. And I don't really think he needs one. Um, that's just my opinion. But, yeah, you know, he's all big and bulky. I didn't really think he needs one. Um, but, uh, yeah. What else am I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite MCU figures. Um... I don't know, I don't know, because right now Thanos is up there, which is your Iron Monger or Thanos, one of those two, definitely my favorite MCU, maybe even my favorite figures in my entire freaking collection, but, yeah, I just love both those figures so much, and I had a blast posing um, Iron Monger for the past, like, hour, the past hour I've just been posing him with, like, a bunch of fights and stuff, I posted it on my Instagram, uh, but I'll put the pictures after this video, so you can see them, but, yeah, this is a really, really good figure, and I'm so glad I actually got this guy. I love him so much. Oh, my God. Sorry, I sound like I have a fetish for him, but, you know, hey, maybe I do, because this guy's so awesome. But, yeah, um, I definitely suggest you get him if you like Iron Man or if you like Iron Monger. Um, I don't know, you may like the comic one better, uh, the comic Iron Monger, but, yeah, um... I don't know, I just think this guy looks cooler, so I got him, and I only got him for 25 bucks. So, yeah, again, one of my favorite figures right now, but, yeah, that, that could change after Christmas, you know, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so, thank you all for watching the video, and, yeah, Hobo55, out. <laughs>